Hello little house. Looks like it's all happening today. Things are about to get busy. It's Monday morning. The day of the big build, hopefully. So uh, we're just waiting now for the lads to come down the lane and get started. Foundations have been dug today and hopefully been poured tomorrow, which all seems very quick, which seems like it's exciting, but had a call on Friday with both the uh, civil engineer and the building engineer and it seems they haven't really been talking to each other so they have slightly different ideas of what's going on here neither of them seem to have the same idea about anything which is a bit unnerving uh, hopefully it can be resolved they're both coming out here this morning for a chat uh, I think this chat should have probably taken place a few weeks ago, if not months ago. Uh, the civil engineer showed me the drawing of what he thinks he's doing. And that drawing was now two years old and had never been, never been amended or updated. So uh, here we are. This is where they're going to be digging, around the back of the house and i don't know what to say really but hopefully it'll work out it was more to do with uh it's not to do with the shape of the actual foundation it was more to do with the structure and what they decided the walls were going to be and how how they were going to be built not only on the outside but especially on the inside so i think originally it was specified for block walls on the inside but no one seems to have made any allowances for putting block walls on the inside so I think we're having to change to stud partition walls on the inside but I don't know if it's the biggest deal in the world I would have preferred block I think but uh, we are where we are let's see what we can come up with today I don't know. I'm sure the um, the grounds were people haven't haven't made any allowances at all for putting any extra foundations under the old building. So, uh, hmm, we shall uh, have a bit of a battle on our hands, maybe. But I think we can sort it out as long as everyone's reasonable. Uh, there'll be updates obviously now as things start to happen uh, hmm, let's see where we get let's see where we get this is the back of the house probably be seen as it is now for the last time so uh might as well get some footage of it. This is the area for the extension. So that should be getting excavated this morning. So uh, all this concrete will be going and the flower pot there that'll be going. The extension starts about that mark, where that mark on the wall is. It'll come out and it'll run around this area here. I think we've done a walkthrough before, but uh, it's worth just having a last look. Maybe we can show some of the old footage as well of how this was. So 
so it should all change today only at ground level but it'll be a big change for us important thing to point out here is just look at the depth of those footings. It was all right all along. The house wasn't going to fall down. Here they've measured and are marking out the boundary for the extension. these strange moving mechanical monsters. Roy is quite unsettled. What's happening? What's this that they're dragging along? These trenches will be infilled with cement, concrete and these sort of like metal bars, grid work. Not sure what they're called but they just reinforce it. Here look, can you see? It kind of creates a cage when the cement is poured onto it, making a solid foundation. Here they are digging around the well. Yeah, you be careful now. Don't you go knocking that pipe. We've tried to protect it, putting that bag on. Oh, it's pathetic really, but so far nobody has driven into it. Gosh, that was close. Noel's just going in with a close-up here to show all the rock that's under the house, compacted there. No marshy bog land just solid rock in this particular site which is really good and the footings have been built on top of that rock
You know what, I don't really blame Roy for being a bit scared. That cutting tool does look rather fearsome. So now they move on to dig in the foundations for the garage. It just made sense to do this at the same time while they had all the equipment there, all the machinery. And also all the cement. in the day now but there's still one important job to do. The well, it needs to be capped. And here's the soak away drain to remove excess water from the site of the well. They're just kind of creating a little space, an instep where the manhole cover can 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 go so that it's lays flush to the ground and then it'll be all safe and secure. the well. 